faith. Of course, there is a religious definition of faith. It's a strong belief in God or in the doctrines of a religion based on spiritual apprehension rather than proof. But faith, if you look it up in the dictionary or Google it, is usually defined something like a complete trust or confidence in someone or something. A famous quote from Henry Ford seems appropriate. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. I recently watched the movie Heal. It's a documentary exploring the power of the brain to repair a damaged human body. Stories of miraculous cancer remission. A point made in this documentary is that we all have faith. Really sick people have faith. They either have faith that a particular diagnosis is a death sentence, or that it is a simple challenge to the body's natural ability to heal itself. Henry Ford's words on steroids. Mary Lohr, author of the book Managing Thought, shifts our understanding of our brains from acting like our commanding officer, dictating our beliefs and responses, to seeing it as a tool we can use to our advantage. And just like any other tool in our kit, it takes practice to develop the skills to produce the outcomes that we want. When we react to some stimulus, we're reacting from our knower-judger belief of how we should react. It's a programmed response. Now, we're amazingly predictable critters based on our history. Well, where do these beliefs come from? We learn them. And acting this way becomes clearly in our comfort zone. We all execute comfort zone reactions, knowing perfectly well they're not necessarily beneficial to us. It's the metaphorical second donut. The question to ask is, how does this reaction actually serve me? Does it take me in the direction I want to go? Or is it just who I am? Two things come to mind. First is what I call the Dr. Phil moment. How's that working for you? And the second is that definition of insanity. Only doing what you've been doing and expecting a different result. It's not that different from reaching for the second donut at the staff meeting. It's certainly in my comfort zone, but it contributes to my continual battle with my weight. But I can't resist! Hear my belief there? I can't. Henry Ford was accurate. I'm frequently trying to identify where my beliefs are getting in my way. And I think they've been doing it for decades. I don't necessarily have to turn a belief 180 degrees from I can't to I can. I've found reasonable success just getting to I could, opening my brain to the possibilities of getting what I want, getting under 175 pounds, finishing a half marathon. I'm convinced my brain is more powerful than I was ever taught. It can contribute to my common cold lasting weeks or help me get back on my feet in days. It can keep me from the things I want or, given some practice and training, propel me in a more productive direction. I have faith in the latter. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.